Pati bawal dito. We're on our way to Toyota Commemorative. So if you're going from the Meitesu train station in Nagoya, you take uh, one train stop lang, Sako, Sako Station. So pag exit mo, so this one is, wait lang ha, ikot natin. So when you exit the south gates, yan yung south gate of uh, Sako Station. So ikot mo. Merong door dito sa right. So sabi ng Google Map, we just follow this. And then you turn right. Turn right and then supposedly it's just three minute walk. So hopefully totoo yun. Unless mas mabibilis yung tao maglakad dito. Okay, so we walk for three minutes now. And we should be there. Uh, from Sa from Nagoya Station to Sako Station, it's 170 yen. Uh, so, bibilin mo yung ticket. Dapat alam mo magkano. And then you press 170. So, yung ticket mo, it's 170. Then we turn left there. But the weather is nice and uh, sunny today. Nagoya. Nagoya. Nagoya compared to Tokyo Osaka parang walang tao dito it's very quiet it's a very quiet prefecture is that what they call it sobrang tahimik eh pati last night it was Friday night we went to Osu district walang tao eh and they closed early ah eh. we were there 7 mga 7 nag start na mag close mga shop eh ok let's cross you know Today is Saturday. There's not much cars. But para lumayo tayo, maybe five minutes. Kanina three minutes lang tayo. It's similar. Similar ito. Either the first one. Okay, direct na tayo yun. So na lego na kami. Yung 3 minutes walk, ngayon 6 minutes na. So, sino sabi niya eh? So, ibig sabihin lumayo kami. Okay, sabi we're walking back. Sabi mo, follow ko lang. Buti na lang, the weather is cold enough to be walking. So, ano sabi? Diretso lang? Diretso. Ilang minutes? Four. <laughs> Four minutes. So, lumayo nga tayo. Kanina galing sa station 3 eh. Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Ano sabi? Diretso lang eh. May ka-cross natin. Yan ang cross? I guess. Dame! <coughs> Walang ibang dahil? Parang sarado. Ha? Parang sarado. Look, it's close. It's close? So I guess we cross there. Where's the Toyota? On the right side or on the left side? There. Maybe there's a hill in the back. No, there's a tunnel in the back. Okay. There's a tunnel in the back. Naligaw nga tayo. Weird na dito tayo papadaanin. Kaya tayo nire-reroute. Kaya nire-reroute kasi walang ano. Mm -hmm. Miss, bakit po kayo dyan dumadaan sa tunnel ng mga sasakyan? Bawal po dyan. Eh, 
May tawiran ba dyan o nasa kaliwa ang tawiran? Ayan o, kaliwa na tayo Kaliwa na Oo Ayun na yung Toyota Malamang yan na yun, laki-laki na kasulat Toyota Oh, we're here Pero parking yun Oh yeah, we can enter here. Here, no. Yeah, here. Closed. Huh? It's closed. Why? There, it says closed. Or is the office only closed? Well, let's walk inside. Was it holiday today? Because they keep saying about something birthday, birthday. Pero you know. Ayun niya ate. Hindi may mga bakit. Kasi dumaan tayo sa parking entrance sa likod. Kasi nga naligaw na tayo. Doon niya ata ang entrance. So this is the first factory of Toyota? This is the Toyota factory. The first, the first. So, yung nagiginawa na nila museum yata. Ito yung maraming car. No, no, no. Oh. Automotive yun. Oh. The automotive is a car automotive museum owned by Toyota, but it's not a Toyota museum. Lucky nito. So, doon kami galing sa... Looks like parking entrance, south gate nga. Pero looks like itong sa left side, yung main entrance. So, we're going to go to the main entrance now. So, this is, I guess, the entrance? Meron, 500. Ayan o. So, this is the entrance. So, we buy our ticket. It's 500 yen. So we can buy here. So you can go and buy your ticket from the vending machine. So English. Adult to confirm. So this was the first Toyota automatic weaving factory. This is the current na ano na factory. Kinawa nila ito museum.
、私の方には種が残ります。綿が出ている様子をご覧いただけますでしょうか。一つのコットンボールの中に20粒もの綿が入った種が入っていることもございます。ちょっと報告だけですね、私のメリットでは何にもなりませんけど、ある場所だけ教えてくださいます。So, this is how Toyota started with textile manufacturing. So, sa t a i l a n ng galing yung mga k o t s e natin. <laughs> so, they're showing how textile are weak. Ito na yung mga medyo modernized na talaga ng mga textile weave, weaving ng makina. Modern na sense, this is from 1955. Automatic loom. San Toyota, hindi lang yung sasakyan na sinasakyan mo ang gawa nila. Pati yung tela ng t-shirt na suot mo, baka sa kanila rin galing. Kaya na, Toyota. Merong board na board na, oh. nauna na. Oh. Oh, kita mo, board na yan. Board na yun? Bored na yun? Sandali. After this, mag-shopping yan. Mag-shopping na yan. Pagbibigyan lang niya ako itong umaga, tapos mag-shopping na yan mamaya. May, may bored na ito with chora. Oh, okay lang. Nagpo-bored ako. Ah, okay lang para sa ilong galing. Nagpo-bored ka. Ayun na bored ka. Marami mo ito sila. So let's go inside. Next stamp, ka ba? Ayun yung next stamp mo ko. Bakit parang napatak mo ka? Exit na yun.
年、1929年、金一郎はイギリスのプラント社に G 型自動食器の特許権を譲渡する企業で大事な部屋でご覧くださいませ。ありがとうございました。Testing ng mga bakal.
Yung lumang Toyota pala, parang BMW, kidney grill, no? <laughs> The Toyo Pet Crown. Corona.
the hybrids. I think Toyota was the first to make the most successful hybrid with the Prius in uh, the US. Eh? I'm not sure. This one, what model is this? I don't think Prius was one of the most successful, first to be successful uh, hybrid. Yeah, it is the Prius. But this is, I'm not sure if this model actually arrived in the US. I know ko ito yung Prius na abotan ko sa US. Eh? the hybrids the new Prius and Gandana but this one is oh this is not a oh it's the fuel cell fuel cell electric vehicle so I'm not sure if this is already in production in ano to, hydrogen fuel cell, no? Let's go down. Hindi natin maintindihan. This was the first Toyota car. The Corona. The Corolla. The Crown. Grab it. Crown is uh, right now. Crown is one of their largest luxury sedan. If you're going to compare it, this Toyota Crown na, from the original 1955 is about the same size of a Vios now. Tapos ito mga Corolla ngayon. Oh, parang Wigo lang yung size on Lilit. Cars have really grew up. Yan na the Corona. Ito mga Corona na ito na alaala ko. These are from Corona from my childhood days. Eh. The 70s and the 80s. Then the Tercel. Tercel yata hindi tayo nagkaroon sa Manila. Oh, the 2000 GT. Toyota's first sports car. I've seen a few in Manila, pero sa mga car show ko lang nakikita ito. Ganda. The Camry. The Celica. Ang ganda ng color nitong Celica na ito. Thank you. 
Ganda talaga ng mga 70s. Yung mga 80s, wala. Sobrang boxy, oh. Like this Camry, the Sorer. The Sorer is... Ito ba ang parang grandfather ng mga Supra yata, eh, the Sorer? Ano? Yep, it has the inline 6.2.8 liter na makina. And of course, here in Japan, they call this the Toyota, what's this, the Celeste, Celestor. But this was actually developed partly in the U.S. as the Lexus LS400 or Toyota's first luxury vehicle in the U.S. market. This is the Lexus LS400. I remember being able to drive this because a friend of ours had this in Guam. Sobra kong naalyo. This was the first car na nakaride ako that had a built-in subwoofer. That's a Nakamichi system. Yung U.S. market, ha? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's also has a nice sound system here. I'm just not sure if yung sa, yung sa Japan version also had a Nakamichi. Tingnan na natin. Uh, Sell sure doesn't say if it's a Nakamichi. Pero yung sa US, it says Nakamichi. Yeah, this is the LS400. And I think this is the first V8 also of Toyota na mass produced. And then their fuel cell. And right over there is the LFA. It is one of the most best sounding cars because of its V10 engine. You know, the LFA, the Lexus LFA. For the longest time, meron ito sa Lexus Manila na hindi nila, alam ko hindi nila mabenta-benta. But I don't know now who owns it. Pero may pumasok na mga LFA that was sold by Lexus Manila. Look at that exhaust tip. So this is casting off the engine block. So they'll cast the engine from, from metal. So, if it's casted, so molten metal yung hulog nila. Ayan, no? yung natutunaw ng metal. No? From the... Ano? Then, they'll pour it to the casting, the, the shape. Ayan, ayan ang mga metal parts. And then, this one is the connecting rod na forging machine so basically this is being forged naman sa high pressure yung metal solid metal solid metal ilalagay doon sa sa die tapos ipapress until it forms to the parts that you need tapos isa stamp para mapotol ititrim nila yan yan same with here, oh. I don't know, it starts off with the material. You know, if you notice oh, from that metal, magiging crankshaft yan. Yeah, sa dulo magiging ganun, the crankshaft. And then this one is, uh, I don't know, crankshaft. I guess they're cleaning the crankshaft after it's forged. You know, aayusin, lililisin. Tapos ito naman, the end, uh, casted na engine block, imamachine, para pasok yung mga piston. So ito, it started rough na rough pa, they'll smooth it out, tapos imamachine nila. So let's see how it works. So 
So from the rough na engine block, yan. Yung mga machine nila. Yan, oh. Every step, eh. Kunti, kunti. Hindi pwede biglain, eh. Baka masira. So I guess it's uh, iba-ibang gauge yan, eh. Panipis, ano? Uh, pasmooth ng pasmooth. This one is another casting yata ito. Ano naman ito? Milling. Okay. And then this giant machine is a uh, stamping. Yeah, it's a presser. So this machine will use your gauge, your uh, metal gauge. Tapos ipapress nila into the shape that you want. I've seen this. Sa Manila, nakakita na ako na isa eh. I think ito si the Isuzu factory eh. Laki nito. Lock all the way down. Eh. Look at how huge this machine is. So, kanina diba when we entered is uh, automotive part, they were hand, you know, they were hand forging the metal to shape Ganong kahirap pa ang paggawa ng kotse dati. Eh, no? Paggawa ng fender. Ayan. Tapos, because of advances in technology, they now just have to... I'm presuming ilang oras yan paggawa ng isang ganyan. Ilan lang kaya ganyan isang tao. As compared to a machine like this, will takes only a few seconds to turn that same sheet metal into a fender. Tapos, same machine, similar machine, it's also being used for other parts. So, you know, the fenders, under chassis, you know, structure, your hood, you know, fender, door, the trunk, under chassis, and look at the wheel well, the, you know, the uh, rear, where you put your spare tire, the, the roof, See, this is the, I think this is the front fender. So they forward, they press it before they actually trim it. So these are the other parts. And then, after you get all those parts there, you now have to assemble it. So, robots are now used to assemble it. You know, automatic welders. So, their welding machines are from Kawasaki. And then they'll uh, weld all the parts together. I don't know. See? There you go. Assemble the parts now. Okay. And this robotic welding machines are now going to weld it together. And then this is just adding more welding. I guess this is to add in, add structure naman. So they add more welding to make sure they all work and become stronger. So here. So from the first assembly dito naman is to add more welding. So I guess it's, it works two at a time. Right? Welding 
Yoga Be Robot And then from here It's paint So now it's painting naman yeah. So na pati pag paint ngayon yeah, no? Machine na rin So after the body is painted It goes to assembly So it now uses robots to assemble the parts Ayun yung kaninang pininturahan, winelding And then the interior parts Now it's time to assemble all of them together so kasama yung under chassis engine so let's uh, press the button for the demo So this is usually done in a line. So tuloy-tuloy lang to habang tumatakbo, may nag-assemble. Habang gumagalaw. Engine, suspension, exhaust naman. So it's now marrying the, the mechanical part to the body. And that's how Toyota is able to produce and sell that many cars by using all these robots. Kaling. Kasi niyo mga humahawa kanina. So, so pag na-assemble yan, I think the next step naman dyan, pagkabit na ng gulong. Diba? The new cars, small cars from the start until the end. This one, the white one? Yeah, I'll take I a photo. So, the line, bye bye, bye bye. So, this is the Toyota Commemorative Museum. So, this is basically the museum that shows how Toyota started, how they assembled their cars, and the future of Toyota cars, especially the fuel cell. I think that's going to be the future. The blue one? Yeah, the blue one. It's hydrogen powered. Uh, yung hydrogen engine, ay, ang exhaust niya, alam mo, ang lumalabas? Mm -hmm. Too big. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Hi. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, gusto niyo? This is the... The... Keychain. Keychain. Why not? It's a trinket. Okay, bye.